hey guys welcome back to another video it's beauty by bell so today's video is going to be all about the products that you need for a flawless makeup application so before we get started with the video thank you all for stopping by if you're new hey if you are returning hi how are you thank you so much for coming back so anyways let's get right into the video All right, guys, so you need to make sure you have sunscreen. You need to wear sunscreen every single day because it protects your skin from sun damage and it can actually help you with skin problems such as hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So make sure you're using a moisturizer or a primer or just regular sunscreen with at least an SPF or 15 plus. So one of the first things you need after you've moisturized your face is your primer. Now, before we can get into using your primer, you need to know your skin type. And then based on your skin type, you get the products that works for your skin. Alright guys, so there are three skin types that you need to be aware of. The oily skin, the dry skin, and then combination skin. If you have oily skin, your skin tends to be greasy and shiny in appearance, right? If you have dry skin, then your face kind of feels tight and it looks dull. And if you have combination skin, that means that mostly your cheeks are dry, but your T-zone, it's normally like oily. So if you have oily skin, you want to make sure you're using matte products, as in matte setting sprays and matte primers. So if you have dry skin, then you want to make sure you're using hydrating and dewy products. So you want to make sure you're using like dewy primers dewy setting sprays hydrating um setting sprays and hydrating primers and if you have combination skin then you can make sure you use um either one matte primers or hydrating primers whatever works best for your skin all right guys now let's find the perfect foundation match for you so when you look at your wrist if you have blue veins then your undertones are cool if your veins are green, then you have warm undertones. And if they're bluish green, then you have neutral undertones. So I personally have neutral undertones. So my foundations tend to be more on the cooler side than warm. Now that you know your undertones, let's pick a coverage type. So do you like lightweight foundations? Lightweight means like... When you apply the foundation it's barely there or do you like a medium coverage something that is easy to build on or do you want something that's full coverage full coverage is also easy to build on but it depends on the type of full coverage and how much product you actually use all right so at this point you have picked your undertones you know what they are You've picked the kind of coverage you're looking for. Now let's look at the types of foundations. So do you want a liquid or do you want a stick or do you want powder or do you want cream? That is all your preference. I personally prefer liquid foundations because I feel like it's easier to work with. Now you have to look at the kind of finish you want. Do you want a matte appearance or do you want a dewy look? This is where your skin type comes in. If you have oily skin, you want a foundation that is matte. If you have dry skin, then you want a foundation that is hydrating. And if you have a combination skin, then you pick whichever one works best for you. Me, I have very oily skin, so I, I make sure I use matte products. So at this point, you know your undertone, you know the kind of coverage you're looking for, you know the kind of type of foundation you want, and you know the kind of finish you're going for. It's time to pick a place to match. So, I personally match my face to my chest because they're the same color and it just looks better that way. My neck is darker than my face and my chest. And when I match my face to my neck, it's just, it's not nice. So, if your face and your neck matches, they're like the same complexion, then you can match your face to your neck. If your face and your chest are the same color, then you can do that instead. Or you can honestly do what works best for you. But just make sure that whatever you're matching to is the same color and so you don't look crazy. When picking a foundation shade, if you're confused between two shades, go for the one that is a bit lighter than your actual skin color. Because you can work with a light foundation. 
but you cannot work with a dark one. If it's light, you can always add your bronzers and your contour powders to just work around it. But if it's dark, you're either going to have to wipe off your entire makeup or, you know, it's just hard to work with. Okay, so for your concealers, you want to make sure your concealer is a shade or two lighter than your foundation color. My personal favorite concealer is um, this Juvia's Place concealer in the shade, uh, I believe it's 12, number 12, yes. I'm going to put everything down in the description box so you guys can get like the accurate details. Um, yes, and I also like Fawn from LA Concealers as well. I really like their formula. It's just really nice. You want to make sure that you have a skin tone set in powder for everyday looks. This is a personal favorite of mine from Black Radiance. Then, of course, make sure you have a translucent powder or a powder that is not too white or doesn't make you look too white, I should say. Um, but it's not exactly skin tone either, you know? Of course, you're going to need some blush. <laughs> you know over here we love blush. <laughs> All right, so this one is Brick House, and then this one is Toasted Almond, and they are both from Black Radiance. They're both very affordable, and um, I really like these two. On dark skin tones, darker berries, and um, like an orange, like this one, Toasted Almond, looks so gorgeous on our skin. Like, it's so pretty. Like, sometimes I put on blush, like especially Toasted Almond, and it's just so gorgeous. You're going to need a contour palette of some sort. And I um, personally recommend this by Black Radiance. Because they have, I believe, a light to medium, a medium to dark, and a dark to deep. And it works perfect. It literally has a contour shade. And then it has um, a set and powder shade. And then it also has a highlighter. Three in one. This is also another um, contour slash bronzer palette that I like. This one is from Juvia's Place, also very affordable. And this one also has two shades in it. So I use one for like my forehead and then the other one I use for my face. So this one too is very, very good. And of course, you're going to need some eyeshadows. So these two are very simple eyeshadow palettes for like literally any kind of look you want. So... This one is Wet on Wild. I really love the colors. And then this one is by Vanessa. Her Juvia's Place palette is just wonderful. Like BSG with Perfectionist or Extra is just like... The kind of look you're going to get is just crazy. It's just beautiful. And it's for literally a glamorous look and a simple look. So definitely recommend it. And of course, some mascara because why not, right? You're gonna need a mascara girl and this one i recommend this one you can get this off amazon this is where i got mine and i absolutely love it you're also gonna need a simple black eyeliner you're gonna need a lip pencil of some sort i prefer dark brown because i think it looks better on me but if you prefer black then go ahead by all means it's your preference so i like color it's from Juvia's Place. It applies like butter. It's so nice. These are some of my favorite everyday lip glosses that I tend to use more often. I know it looks like I have only NYX products, but trust me, like, I just love their butter glosses, honey. They are so nice. Like, I don't know, like, I just love the formula. The way it just, like, slides on my lips. It's just I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love these glosses. And I always go over my glosses with clear lip gloss. Last but not least, your setting spray. After you finish your makeup, this is the last thing you're probably going to do before you head out the door. You're going to set your makeup. So, remember your skin type. If you have dry skin, make sure you're using dewy, hydrating setting sprays. If you have oily skin, make sure you're using matte products. We are at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope this helped you with your beginner's makeup kit. So I'm just going to add a few videos of everything that you need in your kit. And I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. Here you have your powders and your blushes and you have your 
eyeshadows and your mascaras and then of course your contour and your bronzer palettes and then of course you have your lipsticks with your lip liners as always please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with all your loved ones bye thank you